Greetings. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, members of BCA, wherever you are sitting on the continent of Africa. My full names are Kei Kamatua Chirwa, Chairperson of Admin and Renumeration Committee. And I'm here to give you a report for the 2020 virtual annual general meeting for the Admin and Renumeration Committee. Uh, we'll start with administration. Basically, the BCA head office is supposed to be sitting in Mauritius. And the office is yet to be established. It has taken quite a long time because the registration and approval formalities in Mauritius are quite cumbersome and bureaucratic, I would say. And these formalities are yet to be done by the Ministry of Sports and the relevant ministries concerned with the registration of entities such as our confederation. We hope that by the beginning of 2021, our office should start operations. Under recruitment, there has been two recruitments of two regional development officers who were appointed to take care of basically the two regions, the English and the Arabic, plus the French. So the appointed officers are Dr. Ahmed Raider, who's supposed to take care of the Arabic and English speaking membership, and Mr. Benadid, Benadin Bokbi, who's supposed to take care of the French speaking membership. Two new staff recruitments have been pending because of the COVID pandemic. So basically these are scheduled to be recruited in the year 2021. And the positions are the events manager and communications officer. Uh, under governance, BCA successfully held its AGM in Nanning, China, alongside with the BWF AGM. At the AGM, Mr. Francis Obi, the president of Badminton Nigeria, was elected as council member following a vacancy in the council. Uh, the BCA Council and Executive Board meeting respectively held two meetings in 2019 where governance issues were deliberated and decisions were made. In the same year, the BWF Constitution was amended and in line with the BA BWF constitution, certain amendments were made to the BCA constitution. And the council deliberated on this amendment and finally and collectively made the amendment to the BCA Constitution. These amendments of the BCA Constitutions are proposals which are supposed to be tabled for approval by 
the 2020 AGM. Um, in the year 2019, BCA committees and subcommittees were availed terms of reference. These terms of reference were reviewed by the BCA Council for all the standing committees and subcommittees. And these subcommittees, namely Events Committee, Development Committee, Finance Committee, Marketing Committee, Admin and Renumeration Committee. And the terms for, of reference for four commissions, which are subcommittees, namely Technical Official Commission, Women in Badminton Commission, Legal and Ethics Commission, and the newly established Athletes Commission. The documents pertaining to these uh, terms of reference for these committees can be accessed from the Badminton Africa website. Please feel free to access and get to know these terms of reference. The newly established commission was set up, as I said, in 2019 for the athletes. This basically is to govern the activities of the athletes and the stems of reference have been circulated accordingly. Elections to establish the commission were held in Nigeria during the All Africa Championship. And the chairperson was elected being Mr. Donald Mao from Zambia. Other members are Madam Hadia Hosni from Egypt and Mr. Enejo Abba from Nigeria. The operational organization structure of BCA basically uh, is as follows. At the helm, we have the BCA annual general meeting followed by the BCA council. Under the BCA council, we have the executive board then on the side, we have the subcommittees and commissions, which liaise with the BCA Council and the Secretary General. Under the BCA administrative or managerial or management structure, we have the Secretary General, who's deputized by a development manager and events manager. Under the development manager, we have two regional development manager, one for the English and Arabic membership, and one for the French speaking membership. Then under the secretary general, we have also the finance and admin officer. Under the events manager, we have the communications officer. Please note that the events manager and communications officer are yet to be employed in the coming year. I wish to thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, please email me as chairman and of course the secretary general, Mr. Edu. I wish you God's blessing. Please stay safe and healthy as we manage the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much again and God bless.